Hey everyone, David C. Anderson here coming at you from the Knife Center. And today we're taking a look at a really cool new budget pocket knife, the Steel Wheel Shaula Flipper. And you can find it right here. Let's check it out. The Shaula joins Steel Wheel's roster of capable and affordable knives that feature D2 steel at a great price. And as soon as you hold this knife, you can tell that it's well designed. This knife is not too broad or chunky, and it's going to be great not just as an EDC pocket knife, but maybe even as a backup tactical or combat folder as well. The blade itself is about 3.4 inches long, and it's straight and narrow. Simple but effective for a daily user. But it still has a little bit of sex appeal too, because I think the proportions of this design are just right. It's a perfectly balanced shape. We get a flat grind with a small straight clip point with a nice little swedge on the end. And with D2 steel on this knife, we get plenty of edge retention, especially for the price of this knife, just barely over 50 bucks at the time this video is going up. We have options for a satin finished blade here if you like something more traditional. But if you're looking for something a bit different, you can also get it with a blackened stone washed finish. And you can get these with a couple of different handle colors, which we'll get to in a minute. The factory edge on these blades is very good. It's not rough feeling at all, and it's highly refined. Again, something that's really great to see at the low price point of these knives. These knives are a flipper opening design and the detent is set perfectly. It's light enough to actuate with nice smooth opening action. It features ball bearings in the pivot to keep things friction free as the blade swings into place. Again, another thing that's great to see for this price range. Holding things open is a sturdy liner lock. There are dual liners on this knife and they're skeletonized as well to remove a little bit of weight. And on the black bladed versions, you do have a matching black liner lock, while the options that come with a satin finished blade have a liner that is undarkened. Looking back onto the handles themselves, these are made with milled G10. These aren't just a simple FRN or plasticky handle, so that's really cool. And they're available in several different colors as well. You've seen the black already, but you can also get them with a nice blue G10 along with a satin blade, as well as a red G10 handle that comes with the black and stone washed blade. As far as the texture goes, we get a nice swooping checkered pattern that flows along with the shape of the handle itself. It's not too deep so that it's going to really dig in, but you do get some good traction out of this. As far as the shape of the handle, you can see that it tapers near the back, and I find that this actually orients the blade perfectly for most everyday stuff. Whether you're opening packages, breaking down cardboard, trimming small items, you name it, this can do it. Also because of that, it feels poised for accurate use in a tactical role as well, like it's ready to strike. Because of that shape, it does bring the tip of the knife down just a little bit that allows you to point it better. But that's also thanks to the large index finger groove right here. And those two elements really work together to lock your hand into place and make it ready to work. Now, because of that taper, the knife really grips well, but they kind of ran out of room for a lanyard hole. So instead of that, they turned to backspacers to still get that same functionality across. As you can see, there's a series of spacers or standoffs here at the back with a small one here right at the end. And that small spacer is actually the place that they give you to tie off your lanyard. You're able to thread it through and because of the other spacers, it shouldn't come into contact with the edge either. As you can see from this angle, this blue handled version comes with green spacers for accent. Meanwhile, the red handled version comes with black spacers for a real stealthy look. And when it comes to the black handled versions, the satin bladed variant gets blue spacers, while the black stone washed comes with red spacers. As far as pocket carry is concerned, the tapered shape and narrow frame overall lets it nestle in nicely without taking up too much space. We also get a nice deep carry pocket clip that lets the knife ride nice and low when you aren't using the knife. And the finish of that pocket clip is going to coordinate with the blade finish. Overall, the Shaula is a really nice budget flipper that I think is right up there with the best offerings in this price range. It's a great size, it's not too big or too small, with some good color options to suit any style. Make sure to let us know what you think of this knife in the comments, and to get your hands on one, click the link in the description to head over to KnifeCenter.com. I feel like that light just got brighter. That wasn't just me, right? That was really freaking weird. <laughs> Shot where I don't hit my finger on the edge. <laughs>